Hi, this is Shane with The Rational Trader, and we're going to talk about Sierra Chart's replay feature and uh, how to make use of it. It's a, a very useful tool to help you understand the impact of the choices that you make. All right, so what's, what happens so often with people is they'll see a particular behavior in the market and they'll go, oh, I want to, I would have made a lot of money if I, if I took that trade. And so they'll just start trading it. But really what you need to do is evaluate how that works across a much larger span of time. All right, uh, you, you'll hear me talk a lot about the randomness in the environment of trading. There's a large element of randomness and as a result, um, you know, something that works today may not work very well on other days, and you have to evaluate it across a larger span of time. Okay, in the, in the, you know, the analogy I like to use is uh, baseball. You don't you don't judge a baseball team by how how well they played a single game, or even a stretch of games, even a, you know two or three weeks worth of games. You, you have to evaluate the season, and we're doing the same thing with trading. You know, be, because there is a, a large element of randomness, we need to look at it at, at a larger scale, and the, the SCs, or Sierra Charts replay feature, really allows you to do that in a way that um, is, uh, it's very informative, it's very enlightening. Okay, so let's take a look at how to do that. Uh, this is the NASDAQ, okay, and let me get rid of all this stuff. This is from a previous uh, video. And what we want to do is we want to tell Sierra Chart that we want to uh, replay a previous day or set of days, okay. And so to do that, we have to change some settings, all right, because we, we, we don't want to, we want to stay inside the SC world. Okay, so let me get that other that other picture up so we can take a look at that just as a reminder. So this is the world that exists when you're trading for real. All right, there's Sierra chart in the middle here. We're talking to the machine learning system, getting a prediction. The spreadsheet study in Sierra chart then sends that order out to the broker and then the broker sends it out to the exchange. Now we don't want this to happen during a replay. We just want to stay inside our little world here. And that looks like this. Okay, so what we want is we want the data to come in. In this case, the data is going to be historical data that we we already have. We're going to, you know, we're going to process that through the custom study. It's going to talk to the machine learning system. It's going to send back an action. The spreadsheet's going to going to going to decide to take to place an order. And when that order gets placed, we just want that to happen inside the the Sierra chart simulator. That's that's in the software that's sitting on your computer. It doesn't. We don't. We don't want to actually send any orders out to anyone. So that's how this works. This replay system works. It uh, it uses a, an internal simulator. All right, so now let's go out and look and see, you know, exactly how to set that up. Right. The first thing you have to do is go to the trade menu and turn trade simulation mode on. Okay, and it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to do that? And and it's worth reading this message. All new orders will be processed internally by at and simulated at is because that's this is at charts uh, this is the the sierra charts uh, version that's provided by infinity futures okay it'll all be processed internally and simulated is what this is telling us so we click okay now uh to do automated trading we have to make sure that uh, auto trading is enabled up here okay and we have to make sure that it's enabled for the chart so that's okay there's another change we have to make though in order in order to get this to work and that's in the spreadsheet study so let's go to studies right click studies and the spreadsheet study is down here okay it's called NQ you know auto trade basically and what we have to do is we have to tell the spreadsheet study that we don't want to send orders out to the trade service okay otherwise it tries to do that and then it nothing happens because we've told Sierra chart that trade simulation mode is on. So then you'll do a replay and nothing will happen. <laughs> the, the market, the, the chart will replay, but no orders will ever, no, 
no um, simulated orders will ever get placed. So set this to no, and now we are ready to do a replay. All right, now to do that, you go to the chart menu, and there is this replay chart um, item, and just uh, choose replay chart control panel. That's going to bring this up. All right, now you've got it. There's a bunch of choices in here. Let's, let's, let's just look at them one by one. Charts to replay. Um, your choices are single chart or all charts in chart book or charts with same link number. You want all charts in chart book. Okay, it's important because the there is a there is a subsidiary chart here that's feeding information to the main chart so all charts and chart book need to be uh, replaying simultaneously you also want to take a look at replay mode all right there's standard replay and then there's accurate trading system back test mode that's the one you want okay once you make these choices they they stick so you won't have to make them again okay Speed we're going to talk about in a minute, but this is how fast it will replay, okay? And then um, you have this choice here, which is what I always use. You click the use start date and time, and then you tell it, uh, I want to start on this date at this time. Okay, so this, is, this happens to be the last Friday, and at 6.30 is when I want to start, all right? Um, the speed will start off with at 10x, okay? So this would be normal speed. Uh, one minute of time in, re in real time, is we'll, we'll spend one minute looking at, at the replay. Here, we're gonna speed things up. All right, so let's do 10 for, to, to start and you'll, you'll see what happens as we, uh, as we uh, play around with this value. Now, because you're, you're working with the machine learning system, you have to have the server running, all right? So I have the server running already over here, okay? And let's leave that up so we can see it. Uh, we can see the system start to uh, send to the server, all right? Um, so let's click play. Use start date time is checked. We're gonna, we're gonna replay Friday the 16th, Friday the 16th, starting at 6.30, okay? And it's going to ask you, do you want to clear the data? You can say yes. And I'm not exactly sure what this means, but I always put one in our processing step in seconds. Click OK, and now it's going to load up to the beginning of that time, and now it's going to start to replay. And let's get our server up. You'll see this, the, 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 the bar is spitting out to the server. I have the system set to start trading at 635, so we shouldn't see anything until then. So that's 633, um, you know, the server's collecting data. And as soon as we hit 635, it'll start actually making predictions, okay? And what will happen is we can speed things up to see them go faster and slow them down as they happen. And there's a pause button here as well, okay? So there was a you know, first, set of predictions have come out 223 264 the market's too sideways right here which is why no orders are getting placed uh, we can speed things up let's go 30x and now it'll start going faster all right we can pause it all right you know, and then we can play again all right i, I would just i want to caution you about one thing which is i'm going to pause it while i while i point this out this stop button is kind of not what you want to use uh, unless until you're done. When you click stop, it, it, it just stops replay mode completely and takes the chart back to the back to the uh, to the end. And if you want to continue to replay, you're going to have to start over again. OK, so let's continue here and, and watch some orders get placed. OK, so right there. So now I, pa I, 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 I very quickly pressed pause. What happened is there was a, a 201 code here to short. The, the system placed the order, and then actually the market, it was, it's moving 30 times faster than normal. So it moved so quickly that it actually already has moved the stop. Let's slow it down now to it's like uh, 10x and just watch it. Um, and we'll see it play out here. This trade does hit the target. You can see it trailing automatically as, as we've done, and then we just hit target, okay? And you can just keep doing this through the end of the day. All right, and it, what, what this allows you to do is re replay the day if you missed it, 
and you want to see how it played out. Uh, it allows you to make changes to your settings and see how they work out. All right. And it's especially useful for doing that on a longer period of time. So not just one day, but going back, you know, several months. All right. And so if you're going to do that, you would do um, something more like, you know, a start date of, you know, maybe February 2nd or January 1st. All right. And then you can set the speed to very high and then just walk away and come back later. All right. And what you'll what you'll have then is a chart that's got all of the uh, all of the codes in it, all of the, the the order fills, the orders that were placed. And then you'll also have this thing up here called the trade activity log. All right. So if you open up the trade activity log, this window opens up and the trade stats for chart here will tell you, OK, well, what was my P&L for that for that replay? All right, so if I replayed from the beginning of January to now, you know, it would be some number. All right, I can write that number down, make it make a change to my settings, run the replay again from that period of time, and see see what the difference is. Okay, so it's a really it's a re very useful tool to help you understand, uh, you know, what would happen. So here's a good example, like right here. All right. Right here we see 164. That looks like, oh man, that would have been a great entry, all right? The system's not taking that entry because the uh, that looks too sideways. So if I went and changed my noise filter and wanted to, and re-ran it, all right, could I, you know, what would I have to change my noise filter to, to to catch that trade? All right, and then what would the impact of that be across three months time frame? All right, this is the kind of thing that you need to do to really understand how your, you know, what the impact is of your choices. Here we see the system went long. Uh, it moved up 10 ticks. The, the stop is trailing. And um, we actually got touched there on our target, but it didn't get filled. So we're waiting to see if it's going to go up or not. And this is the kind of thing that you can do with the replay system. Okay, I highly recommend you get you. Uh, play around with it, you'll find that it's extremely useful, very, very helpful in uh, helping you make uh, choices.